Hello and a warm welcome back to my channel. We're going to have a look at, have a look at some skills for Google Sheets to enable students to be successful in their uh, IB DP chemistry internal assessment. So maybe the students have done iodination of propanone, disappearing cross crystal violet with sodium hydroxide, oscillating reactions. The list is, is kind of endless and it's a very popular area because it lends itself to hitting those criteria in analysis and evaluation and getting those high top bands, which every student obviously wants. We have uh, in front of us the landing page, and I have done some uh, preparation work for this video, as you can see. But we'll start with the basics. At the top, we have our columns in alphabetical order. And then uh, here we have our rows in, in number order. So this is clearly B3. This is clearly C5. This is clearly D7, etc. What have I done to my table? Um, I like to highlight my legends or my descriptors at the top and give that a, a different color just to highlight that this is important and at the top. There we go, that was very smart. It's more about aesthetics more than anything else. We can, if you can see here in the top left, there are these quite wide gray bars. Now these are to freeze a particular column or to freeze a particular row. So in this table, it's all there, it's in front of me, I can see it. But if I've got lots of data, as many people will have on their database data uh, tables, you can lock the independent and you can lock the dependent and you can scroll in and out using these gray bars. Quite nifty, huh? Hmm, I like this. So let's pop those back to where they were, just here. There we go, beautiful. It's a small data table, I still really need to use those today. I've used a temperature probe. I put my units in degrees C, I put my uncertainty in, plus or minus one degree C. Any problems with that? Yes. There should be one decimal place in my uncertainty because there's one decimal place in my data. We're on the roll. Now, to get the top marks, top bands in analysis, we need to do some semblance of data processing. So an Arrhenius plot would lend itself to this expectation very well. So 24.2, how do I change that to Kelvin? I add 273.15. Now I could laboriously use a calculator and add 273.15 to 24.2 and 37.5. But the kind of gets that gets tedious, and the point of the software is to help us. You kind of need to tell it what to do. So I'm going to say that it equals this cell will equal. So make sure you clicked into this cell will equal this cell, which is B3 plus 273.15. Hit enter, and there we have the temperature in Kelvin. Now, this is a, a new version, I assume, of Google Sheets, but it's now asking me if I want to automatically fill all of those. And I could click, yes, I will, and that will be easy, but I'm just going to X from there and show you a little bit of a different trick. So here is my cell, which has a formula in that equals B3 here, plus 273.15. It's going to be the temperature in Kelvin. I can also hold on so that little blue square at the corner of the top cell, drag and drop, and it will autofill using the same rule that I put in at the top for the rest of the temperatures. And I have the temperatures in Kelvin. We are starting to data process. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I want the reciprocal of uh, Kelvin. So I want K to the minus one. I'm make that a superscript. Okay, shan't worry about that now in this video. Uh, K to the minus one, I'm gonna just make it one over K. That's gonna be better as one over K. Thank you very much. Now, we're in this cell here. We want to do one over the temperature. So that's going to be, don't forget the equal sign. And we're going to one divided by, you've guessed it, C3. Okay, enter. Now we're gonna use the auto fill, yes. And formula has been applied to the table. Why can't we see it? 
is the text in white yes there we go <clears throat> so now we have the reciprocal of our temperature so this is 1 over t 1 over t temperature another nice little nifty trick for google sheets i like the column you can highlight any column with just a click you can highlight the whole lot at the top there's d and then decrease our decimal places look at that it's just zero now just like that. Uh, which looks aesthetically pleasing i quite like it there does that give me some data yeah that looks nice okay. so we've got Temperature, degree C, converted to Kelvin using a simple rule, plus 273.14. The reciprocal of temperature, 1 over T, so 1 over C3, then we dragged and dropped and applied it to all these cells. Clearly, you could have 10 different measurement points here, 10 different independent variables. So now, what are you are going to do here? We want to get from time to 1 over time, because we're going to, we're going to assume first order kinetics. Then the, the units, the rate constants, are going to be s to the minus 1, or 1 over t. So, you've guessed it, we're going to do equals 1 divided by, in this case it's e3, enter. Do I want to auto fill? Yes. Why can't I see it? Detect or wait. There we go. 1 over t. We're steaming out of this. Brilliant. Now, I want the natural log of k, which in this case is the natural log of 1 over t. So how do I do that? Well, equal sign in there. LN, all capital letters. Don't do the small letters like you're used to using. And then we need to do a bracket on the natural log of this one here and close bracket. So let's look at that for a moment. It's capital letters, capital L, capital N, and then in brackets, the first one that you want to take the natural log of. Okay, so again, enter, autofill, or drag and drop. Yes. Um, the text has defaulted to white again. The previous video had that as common. So there we are. This is LNK. LNK is LN1 over T. A word, so don't forget, LN, uh, K is LN1 over T. So K equals 1 over T for first order kinetics. That's there. My decimal places look a little bit scruffy there, so let's just decrease them. Quite like that. Now I want I want to do is I want to plot a graph. I want LNK against 1 over T. Here's 1 over T, so I'll click that whole column. If I then hold command on the MacBook, command and click, and I've highlighted uh, LNK on 1 over T, and I go to my make chart button. Here or insert chart, click that up, and then hopefully magic will appear. Aha! We now have a graph plotted. So we could do this as a line chart, which it has defaulted to. You can do a scatter plot uh, as well, which is there if you want to do that one. Uh, quite like the scatter, they're quite nice because then what you can do on the scatter plot is that you can uh, customize. Let's go into here. Grid lines and ticks. Major grid lines. Let's see how we've got those now. Let's have a look through the options. So we can have change the color. Let's change the color. Green there, in fact, like that. White box is that unique. The border color, let's see. Um, chart axis and title. We don't want to call it one over t. This is one over t, it makes no sense whatsoever. Let's call this a homogeneous plot. First order kinetics. That's nice. That's what I'm going to spot. Again, this plot first order kinetics. We can change the fonts change the size, we can change the colour, we can make it bold, we can align it, we can put it in the middle, all these beautiful things. Uh, the series that we have here, the colour plot currently is blue, let's make it red, just the colour of it. I can change the opacity, let's make it fainter, 
animals that even have to have circles, stars, uh, can have diamonds, let's have some diamonds today. And let's get them nice big diamonds there. So left axis, right axis, you can swap those around. And we can also do two wonderful things here for IA chemistry. We can do error bars, which in this case we'll do 5%. Error bars, can we see those? Percent, yes. And we'll do a trend line. Oh, I like that. That's nice. So you can choose. You want exponential, polynomial, logarithmic. A linear trend line is more than uh, adequate for IB internal assessments chemistry. And crucially, in Google Sheets, we have the R squared value, which is wonderful for discussion when you are looking at your evaluation uh, top bands levels. So the trend line here is 0 0.997. That's an awesome fit of data, right? Hmm. Beauty. So we can change the legends, we can change the titles and the axes, we can reverse them, all these things. But basically what you have in front of you now is uh, the potential for a very high scoring analysis and definitely the potential for a high scoring evaluation. Why? Because we have a data table with uncertainties in the axes. You can do the uncertainties of uh, LN, and you can do the uncertainties of time. You can do the half range method, which is in a separate video. Look at my uncertainties video. Put those into there, use those to plot your error bars, and there you have a high top scoring evaluation and analysis for IB chemistry internal assessment. Okay, I suggest you get some data, play with that yourselves. Uh, any questions, put them in the comment box below. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.